Alan, I'm running to the station. I just have to cross the road. You have the ticket, right? Uh, I got the round trip ticket, yeah. What were you doing at the village? My grandparents are at the country house. I was visiting them before New Year's. How are they? My grandma found a stray cat and I was treating it. And my grandpa is addicted to TikTok. Your grandpa is into TikTok? Yeah, dude. I didn't believe it either, but we got him a smartphone for the anniversary and I downloaded TikTok for him. And now he spends hours on it. <laughs> That's dope as hell. Are you at the station already waiting for the train? Yeah, but I'm here all alone. Aren't you scared? All alone in a train at night? I would be scared. I mean, what's there to be scared about? I've done this before. I would have stayed over at your grandparents, to be honest. I have training in the morning. How much time until you get home? I don't know, like 40 minutes, I guess. Is the train on schedule? Yeah, it doesn't arrive late most of the time. Judging by the schedule, it should be here in like five minutes. My mom would go crazy if she found out that I was riding the train alone at night. So would mine, but she's on a business trip, so she doesn't know. <laughs> Lucky. Stay away from any weirdos. Damn, dude, it's starting to fog up. What fog? I can see a train coming, but it's like covered in fog. Maybe it's an old train and it's got a busted pipe and the smoke gets out a lot more. You, you think trains like that are still around? I mean, who the heck knows? I always go by car. I forgot the last time I even saw a train. Anyway... The train is here. It's all in smoke and I can't see anything. Maybe you could get on a different train? The next one is in an hour. Then get on this one, I guess. It's kind of strange. It's all crooked and red. Like it's expanding and deflating and it's chuffing. Dude, I don't even know the word chuffing. I heard it from Grandpa. Forget this train then, wait for another one. Yeah, I think I'm gonna wait for another one. Did the red one leave yet? Nope. Still here. Still covered by fog and it's making sounds like in the old movies. Listen. That's kinda cool. Legit, like in the old movies. Yeah, forget it. I'll go on this one. I can hold on for 40 minutes. All right, then. Seems you know trains better than I do. I'm in, and we're off. What are you going to do? Play something on your phone? I'm not sure about this, dude. It's very hot and damp in here. It's like I'm at a sauna. Well, it's a very old train. What did you expect? There's also this weird sound like someone's stomach is rumbling. L listen. Where's that sound coming from? It's inside the train. That's super weird. The inside of the train just turned red! Whoa, whoa, whoa. It wasn't red already? It looked like a regular train, but now it's chafing and the lights are getting dimmer and dimmer. I don't understand. How's that possible? The lights are almost completely off. And the train became round instead of square. What are you on about? Oh, no! What is it? My seat just sinked below me! How did that happen? All the seats on this train just sinked into the train's walls! The windows? What about the windows? 
they're, they're still here, but they became smaller. I absolutely dislike this train. The train is slowing down. Maybe it's slowing down for the next stop. Uh, probably. I'm going to get off at the next station. I don't like this train. That's a good idea. My grandpa is calling me on my second phone. You have two phones? My mom gave me a phone for my birthday and so did dad. When I'm with my dad, I use the one that he bought me. And when I'm with my mom, I use the one she got me instead. That's one positive thing about your parents' divorce. My grandpa just asked me where I disappeared to. I told him that I was going home and he said, on what? The trains have been cancelled tonight. They cancelled them? Grandpa said that the train derailed and that they're fixing the railroads, so the trains won't be able to go anywhere. He was calling me to ask where I was. What train are you on then? I don't know. But we're at the train station and I'm getting out of here right now. Do you see any people on the platform? Yeah, there's a policeman. Get out and tell him not to go in. The train stopped and you know what? It changed back to being square with seats and the lights are back on. Here, look. Get out. The doors aren't opening. Try forcing them open. Ugh. I touch the doors and they're all soft and sticky. Are you joking? Whoa! The doors at the end of the wagon opened. I'll go through them. The policeman is about to go in through them. Run! I didn't make it. No, we're both stuck in here, me and the policeman. You couldn't run out of the doors? No, bro. The moment I started running, a stick came out of the floor and I tripped. So both of you are stuck in there now? Unfortunately, yes. He started questioning me about why I was so scared and so I told him. Did he believe you? Of course he didn't. But the moment he told me that I probably hit my head too hard when I fell on the train started changing again. What changed exactly? It started to stink again and the seat disappeared again. But this time the train became slippery inside. Ugh. It's like you were swallowed by something. I know, right? Now the doors and the windows disappeared as well. And now it's so dark in here. What about the policeman? He's trying to call his co-workers. He's trying to figure out where we are. How far is the next station? Not far, but no one will be there because he got through and told everyone to evacuate the platform immediately. Nice one. He asked his colleagues to take the picture of the train that we are on. Perfect. We have to find out what is this weird train. If it even is a train. Are you near the station already? Well, since the train is slowing down, I think we're getting close. The lights are back on and the seats are coming out of the walls and it's going back to being square again. The train will probably get sad once it sees that there aren't new passengers. The train stopped. You could get out once the doors open again. Maybe. Um, wait. The doors aren't opening. It's because there are no people here. Damn it. And the train is moving again? Yeah. We're on the move again. But you know what? What? The other policeman took a photo of the train we're on. Look what he sent us. What the what? Wait. Is that is that an eye? I thought what is that thing? What I don't Jesus! 
Is that really a train? I'm not sure about that anymore. Are, are those eyes on its side? Seems like it. It looks like a living train. It's the train eater. A who now? The policeman told me that it's called the train eater. They were investigating it last year with people disappearing and only one lady survived. She disappeared and then they found her. She said that she was kidnapped by a living train and she called it the train eater. But how did she survive? How did she escape? The policeman said that they thought she was crazy and didn't question her properly. Too bad. Seems she wasn't all crazy at all. Yeah, pity. Where do you think that train is taking you? The next station should be Main Hills. Maybe that's where we're going. That means he wants to get someone else. Igor, that's the policeman's name. Came up with a pretty good plan. He contacted his co-workers on that station. He will stay on the platform, the train will stop, and the doors will open. He won't go in because he knows and you will get out. All right? Yes, my guy. We're at Main Hills already. I see the other policemen. Get ready to jump out. We're standing at the doors, waiting for them to open. Good luck. Oh, God. No, we're stuck. To what? Where? How? To the ground. We're at the doors, and when the train meter stopped and opened its doors, we couldn't take a single step. It's like our feet were glued onto the ground. Holy moly. The train meter really didn't want to let you go. We tried to take off our shoes so we could at least jump out, even barefoot. But we didn't make it in time. What about the other policeman? He's trapped here with us. Why did he get in? When the doors opened, he saw that we were stuck, so he tried to help us. But the train started moving again, and he was already inside the train eater. <sighs> what are you gonna do now? Right now, the policemen are contacting their department, so they can find that lady and ask her how she got out. Are you guys barefoot? No. The second the train started moving, we were unstuck. Thought so. We passed through another station without stopping at it. The other policemen captured the train on cameras again. Look. You can even see here the conductor of this train or whatever it is. Wait, is that... is that a person? I think I see a person. That might be the conductor. Someone is controlling it. You gotta get to the head and find out who it is. You could knock him out or bargain with him. The policeman's colleagues found that lady that survived the train eater. She said that she got out from the head, but first she had to defeat the conductor. Then I was right. Go to the head. Yeah, we are, but I think the train knows what we're up to. What makes you think that? Some sort of liquid is emitting from the ground like a swamp. Moving is really hard. Damn it. How will you get to the head of that thing? This liquid is already on our chest level. Ask one of the colleagues to stand on the next station's platform. What for? The train will want to eat someone else, and it will open the doors and the liquid will leak out. I told them about your plan. Awesome. I hope the plan works. We're coming up to the station. I think someone is actually there. So, did it work? Yes, it did. The disgusting liquid is now all over the platform, though. Nice one. Damn it. The train stopped for like three seconds and left off again. 
The guy who was at the platform had the time to throw us a bag. What's in the bag? I don't know. One of the policemen picked it up. But can you walk though? So much easier without that liquid. We're going for the head. How far do you have to go? Oh my god! Not this again! W w what is it? This bastard doesn't want to let us into its head. We're at the next wagon, and inside of it are teeth! The floor and the ceiling are just jaws! Well, you have to be very, very careful. One of the policemen threw their coat and the jaw just closed. They chomped that coat right in half! Wait, shouldn't they have guns? Aren't they supposed to be policemen? These officers guard the trains. They're only given batons. Oh my days. What are you gonna do now? They have a plan. Gotta go. Woo! We got through the jaws! How? Since they had batons, one of them put the baton in such a way that the jaw couldn't completely close. And that actually worked? Yes! One of them was holding the baton vertically while we were going through and then we switched. And did the baton hold out? It broke at the last moment, but we made it in time. So you're at the head of this train? No, I think there's one last one before it. I wonder what trap will it have prepared for you this time? There's so many bones in here and it stings like hell. I see animal skin all over the place. Maybe this monster not only hunts people, but also animals. There's even a chewed up car in here. It swallowed a car? Probably. It's all banged up. Is it that dark? Yeah, it's so dark in here. What trap is awaiting for you there? Oh god. Some long worms are appearing from the ceiling. They're going for us. What worms? I think there are parts of this creature. They're long and soft, almost like snakes, that are coming from the ceiling and are making these hissing noises. Listen! Are they everywhere? No. They're only hanging on the ceiling. Maybe you could cover yourself with something. Oh, I know! We'll try to rip off a door of that car! It's almost broken off anyway. Go for it! We did it! We broke off that door! Alright! Now can you make it through this last wagon? Yeah! We're all under the door and steadily moving. What about the snakes? They're banging the door from above with such force! I pray for your safety. Oh god! They got one of the policemen and they took him up! No way! Yes way! It caught his hand, wrapped itself around it and it took him away! All the other snakes went after him as well! Did he die? I don't know, but we made it through. This can't be real. Hold on. I, I think I hear something. I can hear electrical sounds and I see a light. Listen! What is it? The other policeman is alive! He just fell from the ceiling and he's running toward us! 
he somehow saved himself. Thank the gods. Where are you now then? Where at the head? This is it. The policeman said that when the snakes took him, he suddenly remembered about the bag that they threw us. And what was inside of it? A stun gun. That's where the electricity sounds came from. Yeah. There are two stun guns in this bag. Amazing. We're at the head of the train and I just figured out who the conductor is. Who? No one. It's the monster's tongue that resembles a human figure. See for yourself. That doesn't look like a tongue. Yeah. Th uh, this tongue is in the form of a human where it's visible, but under it's a normal tongue. I think it's confusing people into thinking that it's a normal train. Does it have teeth? There are teeth. Two powerful jaws inside this head. How will you get out? Oh no! It's trying to swallow us back into the other wagon with the snakes! Everything is moving and it's hard to stay on! Stun him! Stun his tongue with the stun guns! You're right! Damn it! The bag fell from my hands! Do not let that bag out of the head! It will fall back into the snake wagon! Got it! I got the bag back! Good one! Now stun him! Did it work? Guys? Why aren't you responding? I think we're alive. You got off the train? Y yeah. How? We hit him with both of the stun guns and it screamed so loud. I think I'm deaf now. What about the train? And the policeman? The train derailed, fell off on its side and then went on its side for like a hundred meters until it stopped. Are the policemen alive? They are. They helped me. They got me out of the train mouth. And the train? What happened to the train? I think it's alive. It's... Oh, God. It, it turned into a giant worm and it's going back on the rails again. And he's driving off again! The important thing is that you're alive. Well... That was a fun ride. Yeah. But you know what I just realized? What? If you're at the end of the train and going for its head... Yeah, so? Well... If it's got a head... Would, would that mean that it also got a... You know? Which would be the faster way of escaping it? Man... Get out of here. Bobby, I just got 10,000 followers on Instagram. Wow. Dang, I didn't know that people like reading about old trains so much. I don't just post about old trains, also about regular trains and the old railroad. I don't care about trains, but even I like seeing the pics you take. You're great at it. Do you know which one is my favorite? Tell me. Where the old train is covered in smoke. This one. Yeah, dude, this pic got lots of likes. And then this blogger reposted it. And she has like 150,000 followers. And all these people started following me too and commenting my stuff. That's sick, bro. 
I'm happy for you. Where are you at? Maybe let's get a coffee? I can't right now. I'm actually searching for that blogger chick who reposted my picture. You're stalking her? Do you like her? It's not about that, dude. What is it about? She told me she's also into trains. But she loves ghost trains, abandoned train stations, and stuff like that. Well, that's kind of a weird hobby for a chick. But at least you'll have something to talk about. There is more. She texted me and told me that she found this info online. That next to our town, on the abandoned railroad, there was this weird train. What weird train? What's weird about a train, dude? The weird thing about this train is that the railroad has been abandoned for like 100 years. And now people are starting to notice a red train. And a group of teenagers went on it and disappeared. That's crazy! Your blogger chick told you about this? Yeah. She wanted to check out the info about the train and the teenagers who disappeared there. And what happened? Did she find anything out? Yeah, she said that there were pictures of these missing kids posted everywhere and that she found the train too. No way, bro! Yeah. She camped out next to the railroad for a few days, and then one night, she spotted the train. She even took a pic. She said she thinks it's the train eater. What is train eater, bro? I thought that stuff only existed on the chat channel. Hey, you also watch those chat videos. Of course, dude, everyone's watching them. Anyway, it turns out that the train eater is real, and she found it. That's what she texted me. So you're gonna meet up at this abandoned railroad now? Not really. We talked about meeting up yesterday, but she texted me before we met up and said that she needed to check something out. She wanted to figure out where the train was going and where it was hiding. And basically she got on it. And now she's gone. Dang! Is she crazy? Well, she decided that it's the only way to figure out where the train is going and how the kids disappeared. She's kinda weird, bro. She's weird but very brave. But yeah, I haven't heard anything from her. So I decided to come here and figure everything out. What's her name, by the way? Maria. What's her Insta? I want to check it out. Hmm, I don't remember. Something like rail or train and some numbers. Just search for her and my followers. Hang on. Got it. Rail 2303. Wow, she's got a cool account. There is so much info about abandoned trains and ghost trains. Yeah, that's her. When did she last post? The day before yesterday. Nothing since. 
I'm walking by the railroad, but I don't see anything. What did you want to see? What's your plan? I don't really have one, dude. I just want to find her. So, is that because you're into her? I don't even know. I think she's in trouble and I'm the only one she texted. We've never met, but I just know that she needs my help right now. Well, text me if anything interesting happens, bro. Bobby, I found her tent. She is not there? No, but all of her stuff is. Her sleeping bag, some cookies, and flip-flops. I wonder how long ago she was here. I don't know, she told me she set up her tent in the spot where they saw the train last time. So you're on the right track, bro. Just wait for it to show up. I think I'm gonna keep walking. The railroad kind of goes to the left. I wanna see what's out there. I'm reading her Insta. And she's got so much stuff here about the train eater. She's obsessed with it. Did you read the comments? She gets so much hate. People were calling her crazy, a psycho and stuff like that. Imagine how crazy it will be if she posts pictures of a real train eater on her Insta. Assuming she's still alive, of course. She won't post anything. Why do you think that? Because I just found her phone on the railroad tracks. Dang, no way! Yeah. Its screen is cracked, but it still got some charge. Hey, maybe you can check her phone out. See if she's got any info on it. How can I get into her phone if she's got a password? Try 1234 or 4 zeros or something like that. It's not working. And the phone is telling me I only got one more try. I don't think I can get into it. Hmm. Try 2303. Why 2303? Just try it, bro. Dang! How did you figure it out? How do you know her password? Because she used these numbers in her Insta handle. Wow, I'd never think about that. The phone is unlocked. Do you think it's chill if I check it out? It's private after all. Well, you're trying to save her butt. I think you're alright. True. Give me five minutes and I'll let you know what I find. Alex, what's up? Did you find anything interesting on Maria's phone? Dude, you won't believe this. She's got so much stuff here about the train eater. So it exists for real? Yeah. She set up her tent at the right spot, and the train went by her a few times. She even took pics. And then she stood next to the railroad on purpose, and the train stopped and she got in. You found all of that on her phone? Yeah. She was making videos and taking pics too. Can you send me the vids? You can't really see anything there. 
She was just talking in the dark about how the train either appears out of nowhere and then disappears. What do you mean it disappears? How can a train just go away? That's why she got on it, dude. She wanted to figure out where it goes. Dang, she's super brave. She's got some pigs here inside the train eater. Check them out. Well, that's gloomy and terrifying. On the next video, she says that she got to the head, and so there was a tongue, and it was like the driver. And she took a pic to check it out. It's so nasty, ew! On the third video, she's saying that she's gonna throw different stuff out of the train's windows, and if she disappears, the police or whoever's looking for her will be able to find her if they follow her stuff. That's why she threw her phone out, bro! I'm following the tracks and I see something. What? There are headphones on the ground. So weird that she started throwing away all her electronics. Maybe because all of her stuff is back at the tent, and this stuff is the only stuff she had. Maybe. Do you see anything else? I think I see something else. Her hoodie. So you're on the right path. I'll keep walking, maybe I'll find something else. Bobby, I keep walking, but I don't see any more stuff. She either ran out of things to throw, or the spot where I found her hoodie is the train eater's lair. I mean, it's a train, right? Even if it's a train eater, it needs tracks. If there are no tracks, it means it can be its lair. I'm looking at the tracks and you know what's weird. What, bro? The tracks up until this pond where I found the hoodie are smooth and shiny. You can tell that they were being used often. And then they're all rusty and covered in moss. It means the train didn't go further. So keep checking it out. Something must be there. You're right. The ground around here looks soft. And the part of the rails is covered in soil. Weird. Check it out. I just saw a handle on the rails. I pressed it, but it's hard to move. And? I just heard a click on the ground. It must be some kind of a gate. Yeah. I think if I press it in the right way, some kind of a gate must open. Okay, let's use logic for a sec, bro. The train eater is on the tracks. It doesn't have any hands. It can't press on this handle thing. So it must press on it when it's driving. That makes sense, but I still don't get it. Look on the other side of the tracks. Is there another handle? 
Hang on. Yeah! There is another handle riding across from this one. Okay, so the train pushes both of these handles at the same time. And that's how they open the gate. I pressed one handle down and fixed it with a rock. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with a handle across from it. Did it work? Wow! What? Did it work? Yeah! If both handles are pressed at the same time, the gate opens. What do you see? The tracks are going up and there is like a tunnel with more tracks going down. It must be the train's eater's lair. Dang! Are you gonna go down there? Yes. I'm gonna do it. I'm so close to finding the train eater and Maria. And it'd be great to find both. Isn't it dangerous? Yeah, but I'm gonna risk it. I'm going down. Alex, are you there? I'm walking underground following the tracks. It's super dark, but I get a flashlight. And thank God I still have service. Where did you get the flashlight? Maria had it in her tent. Alright. Do you see anything suspicious? Wow! There is something on the tracks. What? It's Maria's student ID. So she was in the train eater's lair for real. So I'm on the right track. I just need to figure out how to get out of here. What do you mean? Can't you just go up the way you got here? Nah, bro. As soon as I went underground, the gate closed. Hold on. I hear something. What? Voices? No. Noises. I think the gate just opened again. Oh, it's the train eater. Yes! I think it's going underground right now. You gotta hide! I'm standing behind the border. I hope the train doesn't see me and doesn't crash into me either. Dang! I'm so scared for you. The train eater just passed me! It's going super slowly. Get out of there, dude! Call the police or the ASF or anything, but this is super dangerous. I'm following the train. It's super slow, and it's got its lights turned on so I can see everything. It's definitely its lair. Everything is covered in this strange spider web. This is insane, bro! The train stopped. You won't believe what's going on. What? I don't even know how to describe this. The train stopped and started moving super weird, like it was getting cramps. And then the top part of the train started going up. What's going on now? Hang on. 
the train's shaking, and it's making this terrible sound, it's kind of moaning. Why? Dude, the train eater is made of two parts. The first one is the train part. And the second part? It's the soft body kind of thing that goes around the train part. Excuse me, what? Okay, imagine you're putting a sock in a toy car or a toy train. Okay. The train eater is like a giant worm that is stretched on a train carcass. I literally just saw it separate from the carcass and move away to the darkness. This is crazy. I could never imagine this. I'm looking at the train carcass. It's literally like a rectangle shaped skeleton that's got wheels. I think it found the wheels, grew the skeleton on them, and is now using them to move around. That's insane! How does it make the wheels move? How can it drive? Hang on. On the other side of the skeleton there is like a handle made of hard bone. I just pressed it and the skeleton started moving forward. No way! And it's got this handle at the beginning and at the end of the train. So it can get into the skeleton and move whichever way it wants. That's so crazy, dude! I hear someone scream! It's a girl! Must be Maria! I'm on my way there! Be careful, bro! Bobby, it's the train eater's lair! Yeah, I already got that, bro! I followed this nasty giant worm thing, and now I'm in this huge room. It's dark and wet, and there are people on the walls. They are attached to the walls with this nasty slime. What? I think the worm keeps the people it kidnaps here. Why? I don't know, I'm gonna ask Maria. She's alive? Yeah. She's attached to the wall with the slime and is trying to get out. I made a sign with a flashlight so she understands I'm here. And the worm? It's stretched out by the wall. It looks like it's sleeping. How many people are there? Five, including Maria. No way. I'm gonna go get them out. Talk soon. Look, this is what happens. Some people go asleep when they go inside the monster. Like these teenagers here. But Maria didn't because she's super strong. And then the train brings them to its lair and attaches them to the wall with its slime. Why does it do that? It's got its eggs here. And Maria said that when they hatch, they eat people. Ew! That's so nasty! At least they haven't hatched yet. How did you manage to get her out? It wasn't easy, bro. The slime is all dried up, but Maria said that I need to use a little bit of water so it gets softer. Did it work? Yeah. I got her out. She said she knew I'd find her. 
Oh, so romantic. Underground lair, a huge worm, and some nice lime. We're gonna get the other kids off the walls. They're super weak because they haven't had food in so long. My mind is blown by all of this. Yeah, dude, me too, but I can't waste any time. Text me later. Bobby, we got everyone off the walls and now we need to find a way out. Uh, run back the way you came. The worm's awake. It stood up. And I can see that on its belly it's got these nasty feet. And it's moving them. And it opened its mouth. And whoa, it's got so many teeth. Alex, run to the skeleton. Remember you said that if you press the handle, the skeleton will move. See if you can use it to get out. Oh my god, you're a genius! We're gonna do it. Is it far? No. We're climbing up into the skeleton. No one understands what's going on, but I told them it's the only chance we got. And the worm? Dang! It's here! It just got here and it's standing up super tall. It can literally fall and crash all of us. Press the freaking handle, dude. I am. Is the skeleton moving? Yeah, but it's super slow. Press it harder. I'm doing it. The skeleton is moving a bit faster now. And the worm? It's trying to catch up to us, but it can't. It's much slower now. Now the most important thing is that the gate opens. And you can get out of the lair. Hold on. It's open! The skeleton pressed the handle inside the tunnel, and the gate opened. We're outside. Yay! But the worm is still following us. Get off the skeleton and run. Oops. What? The worm's dead. What do you mean? It was following us and we got out when the gate opened. And the worm went after us and it got half of its body out. And then what? The gate closed and caught the worm in half. Wow! We are shook. Everything is covered in its slime. Take pigs, bro. All of the Maria's haters will see that she was right, and that the train eater is real. Alex, imagine, my second TikTok account already has 15,000 subscribers. Whoa, that's cool. What's this second account? Uh, I started a blog about a train eater. I don't appear in the vids, I only upload footage about the train eater. Do you draw them on your PC? No, I found a real train eater. Check it out. You're full of it. He isn't real. He is. My granddad found him whilst skiing in the woods. He told me about it later, so went out and I found him. So, he's 100% real. Wicked. The Eaters already have their own pages on social media. 
First it was the bus eater, now the train eater. Now only Siren Head is missing an account. What are you on about? What bus eater? You know, that profile where there is a bus with teeth. No, dude, that's fake. It's obvious that the pics were edited. Mine, on the other hand, is real. Well, maybe it is fake, but it isn't struggling on subscribers either. I'll overtake him soon, trust me. I'm not going to lie, your train does look real. Isn't it uh, dangerous? It is, but he got used to me. At least I think so. You see him often? Yeah, every day. But he cannot attack me. He can only grab someone who's on the railway track or inside him. I, on the other hand, just hang around next to him. He stares at me, you know, huffs and puffs, but he can't actually do anything. Why does he look all banged up in the photo? Who knows, first time I see him like this. Maybe he got into a fight with someone? Who could he even get into a fight with? Well, maybe he tried picking on a bear or a moose. Oh dear! Someone's approaching! Who? Another train eater? I mean, it's an abandoned railway track. Who else could be there? No way! It's a bus! It drove on the tracks! And now it stopped in front of the train and it's just standing there! Are there people inside? Mm, no, it's dark in there! Weird. What's it doing there? Oh snap! The train bared its teeth. He's breathing like a ticked off bear. I think he considers the bus to be an enemy. He will chew through the bus like a tin can. No. It isn't a bus. Well, not a normal bus anyway. It's got teeth. Look. Hey, that's the bus eater I mentioned. Exactly like the one from TikTok. Even the paint job is the same. No way! If I film this battle, then I'm guaranteed 1 million subs. That's so cool. What's happening there? Uh, uh, hold on a sec, need to set up the camera. I'm using a GoPro as it makes my life easier during editing. Dude! What's happening there? Crazy! The train reversed, sounded its horn and charged. I reckon it's trying to swallow the bus. It opened its maw and all of its eyes. Creepy. Whoa! The bus jumped up! Like a grasshopper. No chance. I'm telling you, the GoPro caught it all. I'll show you later. And what's happening now? The train stopped. Just standing there, staring. It needs to do a lap in order to turn around and face the bus. What's the bus doing? Mm, nothing. Landed on the tracks and is waiting around for something, I guess. Okay, the train started moving. It's in reverse. Incredible, it's moving backwards just as fast. And the bus jumped again. Landed on the tracks and now they are facing each other. Why did the bus even come there anyway? No idea. Maybe they're fighting over territory. Perhaps only one ear can exist in an area. It is possible, but their battle kinda sucks so far. Wait for it. I think they're only getting started. Maybe you should get out of there. 
I get that the train can get you, but the bus on the other hand... No, man. It won't see me. I'm hiding behind a tree and it's dark. Oh, here we go. The bus went on the offensive. It opened its mouth and charged at the train. They're all over one another, just trying to bite. They are face to face, hissing and growling. I'm back in the train. I like it more. How about you? Of course I want the train to win. But so far, it isn't doing too well. I thought it would be an easy win, but no, so far the train hasn't done much. I don't think the bus can really hurt or kill him. Perhaps, but the bus just stood up on its hind paws and smashed the train in the face with the sharp front ones. That was a hard hit. The train rolled back like 15 feet. Oh, that's rough. And now the bus is taking off. He sprouted wings like a fly. He's attacking from the air. Jeez. I didn't know it could do that. Now the bus will definitely pierce the train's head with its sharp paws. Hmm, don't count on it. The train also has a trick up its sleeve, it seems. What exactly? He started shaking and raised the front part of its body into the air, like a giant caterpillar. It's standing on its tail. Show me! That's epic! The bus did not expect that. It tried to grab the train with its paws, but the train managed to bite on its leg. You're lying! No! The bus flew up to the train. The latter dashed forward and grabbed onto it with its teeth, and it's not letting go. What's the bus doing? It's flapping its wings, hissing, its hooter is blaring, flashing its headlights. But the train seems to have locked its jaw. The tables have turned. Dude! The train managed to change its grip on the bus and pulled it closer. At this pace, it might even be able to swallow it. That is seriously cool. The train is shaking its head violently. The bus is like a rag doll in the air. You think it's all over now? I don't know. The bus isn't even resisting anymore. Whoa! What? The train dashed to the right and tore the bus's limb right off. The leg is in its mouth and the bus is just lying on the ground. Did the bus survive? Uh, I don't think so. It's just laying there, on its side. Uh, I guess the train killed him. Maybe I should come closer to check it out. Yo, have you lost your mind? That's too dangerous. It's a monster after all. It's an eater. Ah, who cares? I'll be careful. Don't come near it! I'm approaching. It, it seems it's still alive. There's some sort of light inside. A lamp, maybe? Ah! What? You won't believe this. It looks like there's a driver in the bus. Oh, what do you mean? How can there be a driver? I... Uh, I don't know. It just seemed that way for a split second. I didn't get too close. It, it, it's kind of scary. That's right. 
Actually, you know what? Just, just go home already. Okay, the train doesn't seem too happy that the bus is still alive. It's driving up and down the track, but cannot get off. What's happening with the bus? I think it's fine. It managed to get up. I don't think this is over. What do you mean? The bus just patched up its dinged side and now looks almost new. What do you mean, patched up? You know how you can blow into a crumpled plastic bottle and its side pops back out? That's kind of what the bus did. Huh. Well, that's a good way of explaining it. Thanks. This bus is relentless. It rose into the air again. The wings are back and something is glowing inside it. It just won't give up. And the train? Just standing down the rails, looking up. I guess it's waiting for the bus to attack. Listen, you sure your GoPro is recording all of this? Mm, I think so. The red light is on. Oh, drat! What now? The bus launched another aerial assault. Smashed the train over the head. Could hear the blow for miles. It retreated and is preparing to attack again. What's the train's reaction? It isn't moving for some reason. Strange. Maybe it's, um, tired. Insane! Can you believe it? The bus launched another attack, but the train anticipated it. It raised its tail end and smashed the bus in its side so hard that it flew way back. Are you getting this? I think the bus is done. It's finished. Hello? Are you, are you there? Paul, uh, uh, help me. Uh, why? What's wrong? How can I help? I'm in the woods. Mm, me too. Uh, I'm in the bus. Uh, it hurts. Uh, what bus? Uh, I'm inside the bus eater. I was inside all along. Uh, earlier you thought you saw someone. Mm, it was me. You're lying! No, I'm, I'm telling the truth. I think I sprained my ankle. Can, can you help me get out? You're so lying. It cannot be you. Look at the bus, can you see? That's me waving the light. I, uh, uh, I, I can. That's me. I, I'm in the bus. I'm not taking a step closer until you explain what's going on. <sighs> that bus eater account, <sighs> it's mine. You're joking. No, I knew that you were covering the train eater. You told your brother and, and he told me. Ah, that snitch. I decided to make a similar profile and uh, started tracking the train. One day I found out that there was a bus eater nearby and that they were fighting over territory, so I started filming the bus instead. And you were not afraid to climb inside it? It's simple, main thing, don't get into the driver's seat else it will suck your blood with its tentacles. If you just stand near it, it's safe. Well, and don't enter the back, it releases gas there. Holy moly! So are you gonna help me out or not? Nah. It's your own fault, so sort it out yourself. Uh, I thought we were friends. Oh, chill out, I'm kidding. I'm on my way. Can you stop waving that light around? It's annoying.
George, you lose it. What happened? Check this out. Ew, what is that? It's a train. Can you believe it? Did you take that photo? Yeah, just now. Where is that? Who is that? Uh, I arrived at the train station because I got a school project to write an essay about an unusual job and my dad suggested basing it on my uncle. He's a train engineer. And what's next? Oh, my uncle was against it, uh, said it wasn't the best time, but I begged him so he agreed. And he's the train engineer on this creepy train? Of course not. But he did say his job was dangerous and I was like, why? He then told me that just this week, three trains disappeared without a trace. Oh, come on. Yeah. People boarded the trains, uh, they departed and then vanished. Where to? Uh, I think the John train kidnapped them. Hold up, am I missing something here? Then how did you take that photo? My uncle and I agreed that I'll accompany him from the station to the train maintenance depot. But um, then... Halfway through, he randomly stopped, even though the whole trip was about four miles. Why? He said something strange was happening on the tracks. We jumped off the train, he grabbed a rock and threw it. And guess what? What? He hit something. It didn't look like there was anything there, but the rock bounced off something and uh, it sounded metallic. It was an invisible train? Yes. He lobbed another rock and this train then appeared. So I took a picture and I sent it to you. And where is that train now? It's here. Look. It's terrifying. Why isn't it moving? My uncle said that it's waiting for us to board again so it can devour us. Well, then don't board. Simple. Let it wait. It seems to have realized that we won't get on the train, so it's reversing. It's moaning, huffing and puffing. Seems like it's real hungry. That's some essay you'll write. Uncle Victor says that the depot isn't far now. At the next switch, we just go left, and in about a mile, we're there. Well, then jump in the train and make it snappy. We're in. Departing now. He said that we should take it slow, so that if the invisible train appears, we can stop in time. Jeez, that's an adventure and a half. Dang, my uncle just cussed. Why? You won't believe it. We were driving on the railway track and suddenly the arrow on the switch changed. And we drove straight ahead and missed our turn to the depot. Did that other train do that? Uh, I think so. I mean, there is no other explanation. Well, hit the brakes then. Don't just continue forward on this route. Oh no! My uncle said that he's, he's not in control of the train. We're barreling forward at crazy speed and we don't even know where to. What do you mean you don't know where to? These are train tracks, and your uncle is a train engineer. It's not his first time on these tracks. 
You won't believe me, but these tracks were not here before. So you're saying that this super scary train can turn invisible and blade its own tracks and divert other trains which then disappear? It really looks that way. Now it makes sense why no one found the other three trains. Oh wow, so um, what's the plan now? Jump off the train? How? We're moving faster than 60 miles an hour. It feels like we're on a plane. Uncle is trying to do something, but uh, whatever it is, it isn't working. He can't understand why he lost control of the train. It is as if it is being controlled remotely. What about that suspicious train? Can you see it? If it is towing you somewhere, then where to? Uh, I don't know, but there's a tunnel ahead and I don't want to go in there. Oh snap, it will be completely dark in there and probably no signal. Uh, Alright, we're entering the tunnel. It seems we are slowing down, I can even look around now. And what's there? There are all sorts of destroyed pieces of metal everywhere and some train wheels. That's its den. It has to be. You're right. It's here. It's lingering on the tracks ahead. It opened all of its eyes and is staring at us. My word, it's huge. Look, I took a photo from where we're standing. It is really scary. You know what I'm thinking? If the train slowed down, maybe you should jump off and leg it. Oh, oh no! This giant train either open its small. It is gigantic! Our train will easily fit inside. It's like biting on an ice cream for it. It wants to eat you? Obviously. Oh, what else? Uh, jump already. We can't. The doors are locked or, or jammed and we cannot uh, bash them down. So what now? My uncle suggested running to the end of the train. Do it. Oh boy. The giant train eater just bit a chunk of our train's head. Thankfully, we escaped to the carriage behind it. Like it actually bit it off. Yes! We managed to jump off. We can leave the train now. But I don't think it noticed that we are no longer in our carriage. It grabbed the carriage and is swinging it from side to side. Whoa! Now that's brute strength! I wonder when will it realize that it consumed an empty carriage with no people inside? Unbelievable! It swallowed our entire train! There's so much noise in this tunnel now because it's almost like there's a train wrecking factory inside this giant. There's such a racket, sound of metal on metal, crunching of broken glass. It literally squashed our entire train in its gut. It means that this giant train eater set up a hidden den close to a switch on the tracks, diverts the trains and steers them itself. Yeah. Then leads them here and devours them. Wow, that's rough. We are now walking on its right hand side. Uh, we want to get outside, but it's quite a walk. Uh, as it turned out, this tunnel is really long. And where's the train? It reversed somewhere whilst we are backtracking in the direction we came from. You must hurry. Dang! It, it abducted another train. Oh, uh, what do you mean? 
We arrived at the entrance of the tunnel and we can see another train moving towards us. It is clearly controlled by the giant. Wait, this one is also a train eater, just a red one. Check the photo closely. Looks like it abducts other small train eaters too, and not only normal trains. Seems like it. Listen, what if this one isn't abducted, they just all live here? Well, it is possible, but let that be an unsolved mystery in your lives. Just get out of there already. My uncle suggested observing for a while, since the giant has appeared again and we can't go anywhere. Bad idea, but since you're still there, might as well tell me what's happening. Long story short, the red one is a train eater after all. It's standing there goggle-eyed, its mouth open and hissing loudly, as if trying to, I don't know, scare someone. I guess they're enemies after all, else it wouldn't be this scared. Yeah, you're probably right. It looks like the smaller train is trying to stop, but it isn't working. It engages its brakes, but for a short time only, then... Some unknown force drags it onward onto the tracks. Sparks are flying everywhere. Uh, from the one side, I feel bad for this train, but from another, I mean, it is a train eater. Probably devoured a whole bunch of people. So it, it deserves what's coming. It deserves to be eaten. Uh, I mean, it sounds ridiculous. Uh, a train eater chomped by another train eater. By the way, the giant train disappeared. It drove back and vanished. Maybe it went invisible, like you mentioned, and is sitting there waiting for the smaller train to fall for its trap. Gotta check. How are you gonna do that? I'll throw a rock like last time. If it bounces, then there's a train there. And? Nope. The train isn't there, uh, the rock hit the wall. Anyway, we decided to walk around this red one and get out of here. Hmm, good call. We're by the exit and there's a weird smell here, S some kind of moist and hot wind blowing. Hmm, it's not exactly warm out. We're standing right by the exit, my uncle told me to hang back. He picked up another rock and tossed it. Oh, that's sneaky! What? Check this out! This thing somehow made its way around you, became invisible and is waiting for you to walk into its maw. Dang! Uh, what now? Well, can't go back there is no other way out but the other train et is there obviously it is also dangerous hold on manko is feeling the tracks he says that if it is controlling the other trains it must be through the train track somehow uh, surely not with psychic powers anything there yes you found some sort of cable if you look closely, it stretches all the way till the end of the tracks. The giant somehow disconnects other trains with this cable. Jeepers, that's a really good plan. My uncle pulled his knife out. He reasoned that once he cuts this cable, the giant will lose his ability to control other trains. Cool. But hold on. Say your uncle cuts the cable, how does that help you? I mean, your train has already been digested by the giant. No idea, but he says that he has a plan. He severed the cable! Oh boy. The giant did not like that one bit. It roared and stormed into the tunnel with its mouth open. 
It will eat us! Run away! <laughs> We're running! D Dang, you won't believe this! We hopped inside the other train eater! <gasps> Uncle is yanking its tongue and yelling at it to start moving! And what's it doing? I think it's in shock! But it looks like it started moving! It realized that we freed it! It's gaining speed! And the giant? It's chasing us! We are moving as fast as this red train eater can go! Unbelievable! You're running from a train eater aboard another train eater! No one will ever believe that story! We're clearing the tunnel! We're getting ready to jump now! Did, 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 did you jump? Hello? Yes! Oh, Dorette, my screen cracked. But you're alive! Yeah, alive. Our trade eater zoomed off as fast as it could, with the giant hot on its heels. Thankfully, everyone is alive. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment. The more likes and comments we get, the sooner we will release more content. Don't forget to hit the notifications button to be the first to see all our new releases. Have a good one!